Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure to subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Kumusta kayo? Kumusta mga araw nyo? Isang panibagong lecture nga ang alay ko sa inyo for today. And like you see on the title, this is all about the nervous system part 2. Ngayon, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung very first or yung part 1 ng the nervous system anatomy and physiology nursing study guide na ginawa ko, I'll be putting the actual playlist link of the anatomy and physiology uh, playlist link lecture on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out check the one out because I'll be putting it there together with the other playlist I have on my channel before we further proceed I would just like to grab really grab this opportunity to thank you you who are who is listening right now and who's watching uh, right now and uh, being with me right now thank you Thank you so much for all your love and support. I love you and I see you. I am proud of you. And I wish you good luck with all the things that you do with your life, with your nursing career. I wish you good luck with your nursing study. Sa kung may upcoming kang exam, kaya mo yan and you got this. All right? So, um, malaki na nga yung nag-grow ng channel natin. We're now moving towards 20,000. And none of that will be possible if it wasn't because of your help. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining the team, Galve. And joining the subscribing to my channel. Maraming maraming salamat po. And I also want to grab this opportunity to um, invite you to check out my podcast channel. It's called 3 a.m. Conversation with Neil Galve. It is all about mental health. It's all about um, becoming the truest version of yourself. It's all about awareness. It's all about, um, uh, you know, finding purpose and finding meaning in what we do in our life and the pursuit of happiness. If that's something that you are interested in, I'll be putting the link on the description box, uh, uh, the link to my Spotify account, to my podcast channel there. So check the one out. And um, yeah, excited na excited na ako sa inyo. This is going to be a very short but very juicy discussion. Pagpapatuloy ng ating nervous system discussion. Handa ka na ba? Handa na. Eto na. Now, let me share to you the objectives for today's discussion. We only have two. Alright? But hold on. Very juicy ito because I can actually make like an entire video talking about the anatomy and physiology. But I want to like do it in chapters because I want you to have uh, a thorough, a deep dive on this one of the fascinating um systems in our body this uh on this le uh, lecture for today we're going to talk about the nervous tissue in terms of their structure and function and then we're also going to talk about the neurons and we are going to classify them interesting right eto na magsisimula na tayo hingang hinga hingang hinga hinga ng malalim let's begin so we're gonna have the nervous tissue in terms of their structure and function. And this is related to the supporting cells. Now, let me share it. Let me say this to you. Even though it is complex, nervous tissue is made up of just two principal types of cells. Supporting cells and neurons. Let me say that one more time. Nervous tissue is made up of just two principal types of cells supporting cells and neurons when i say supporting cells it uh supporting cells of the central nervous systems these are the lumped together 
as neuroglia, which literally means nerve glue. Neuroglia. Narinig mo na yon? Narinig mo na. Eto na. Talakayin natin sila isa-isa. When you say neuroglia, neuroglia include many types of cells that generally support insulate and protect the delicate neurons. In addition, each of the different types of neuroglia are simply called either glia or glial cells has special functions. We have astrocytes. These are abundant star-shaped cells that account for nearly half of the neural tissue. Astrocytes form a living barrier between the capillaries and neurons and play a role in making exchanges between the two so they could help protect neurons from harmful substances that might be in the blood. Malino ba yon? Malina. Let's proceed. We have microglia. Alright, meron tayong neuroglia, meron naman tayong microglia. Ano naman ito? Listen up. These are the spider-like phagocytes that dispose of debris, including dead bread ce uh, brain cells and bacteria. Did I just say dead bread cells? Alright, so microglia is, um, includes dead brain cells and bacteria. Yung mga spider-like, this one. Kuha mo yun? Nakuha. Absolutely. Next, we have, ano pa yung mga supporting cells sa sinasabi ko? We have your ependymal cells. When you hear about the term ependymal cells, these are glial cells that line the central cavities of the brain and the spinal cord. The breathing, uh, the beating of their cilia helps to circulate the cerebrospinal fluid that fills those cavities and forms protective cushion around the CNS. CNS, central nervous system. Tinalakay natin yung CNS and PNS sa uh, very first episode ng ating part 1 ng ating nervous, uh, nervous system lecture. Panoorin mo yon. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood. Now, we also have your oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrocytes, these are glia that wrap their flat extensions tightly around the nerve fibers producing fatty insulating coverings called myelin sheets. When you hear about my, uh, myelin sheets, you talk about oligodendrocytes. Malino ba yon? Malina. Last two, we have your squan cells. Squan cells form the myelin sheets around nerve fibers that are found in the PNS. Saan makikita ang squan cells? Sa PNS. Myelin sheets around nerve fibers that are found in the PNS. When you hear about oligodendrocytes, these are the myelin sheets that found where nerve fibers pr producing fatty insulating coverings called myelin sheets. Saan mo sila makikita mostly? Sa mga nerve fibers. Alright? Now, we also have your satellite cells. Your satellite cells are, or these cells act as protective cushioning cells. So once again, you guys, these are the supporting cells of your nervous system. Malina ba yon? Malina. Now, let's proceed. Neurons. Hmm. Neurons are called nerve cells are highly specialized to transmit messages or tinatawag nating nerve impulses from one part of the body to another. These are, neurons are the ones that transmit signals from each other para magkaroon tayo ng thinking. Magkaroon tayo ng ma-interpret natin yung mga stimuli. Gagets nyo? Tatalakay natin sila sa mga susunod na slides. Eto na. So guys, these are, this illustration shows the parts of a neuron. Okay, mag-alala, iisa-isahin natin sila. The cell body, this one. Palitan ko nga ito. Yung nating laser pen. This. The cell body is the metabolic center of the neuron. It has a transparent nucleus with a cons Suspicious nucleus. No, uh, I'm sorry, nucleolus. The rough ER called 
nest cell substance and neurofibrils are particularly abundant in the cell body. We also have your processes. These are your processes. Pag sinabi mo processes, ano-ano yon Yung mga dendrons. You also have your axons. That's your processes. Don't worry, I got you. Processes, pag sinabi mo processes, these are the arm-like processes or fibers vary in length from microscopic to three to four feet. Dendrons convey incoming messages toward the cell body, while axons generate nerve impulses and typically conduct them away from the cell body. Axon heloc or heloc. Neurons may have hundreds of the uh, branching dendrites, depending on the neuron type, but each neuron has only one axon, which arises from a cone-like region of the cell, but, uh, of the cell body called the axon heloc. Meron tayong axon heloc. We also have your axon terminals. These terminals contain hundreds of tiny vesicles or membranous sacs that contain neurotransmitters. Ano yung kinokontain ng axon terminals mo? Neurotransmitters. Alright? We also gonna talk about when you hear the term neuron, hindi mawawala dyan, yung tinatawag natin synaptic cleft. Each axon terminal is separated from the next neuron by a tiny gap called synaptic cleft. All right? These synaptic terminals. Malinaw ba yon? Malinaw. Next, you have your myelin sheets. Most long nerve fibers are covered with whitish, fatty material called myelin, which has a waxy appearance. Myelin protects and insulates the fibers and increases the transmission rate of a nerve impulses. We also have your nodes ran, uh, ranvier. Because the myelin sheet is formed by many individual squan cells, it has gaps or indenta uh, indentations, gaps, called nodes of ranvier. The nodes of Granvier, those are the gaps, indenta uh, indentations between um, uh, the neurons. All right? So once again, these are the parts of your neurons. Okay? Take a screenshot and uh, have this saved on your phone so that you'll be uh, reminded every time you see it or you can come across it. All right? Next, you have your... Classifications of neurons. Neurons may be classified either according to how they function or according to their structure. Ito na. So, dalawa ang classification ng neuron, neurons kung how they function and their structure. Diba? Based on structure and functionality. We have your very first is your Functional classification. Functional classification groups neurons according to the direction the nerve impulse is traveling relative to the CNS or central nervous system. On this basis, there are sensory motor and association neurons. When you say sensory neurons, neurons carrying impulses from the sensory receptors to the CNS are sensory or afferent neurons. Sensory neurons keep us informed about what is happening both inside and outside the body. That is your sensory. The one that is telling you that kapag hinawakan mo yung tasang bago mainit yung kape, mapapasok ka. That's your sensory neuron. Motor neurons. Neurons carrying impulses from the CNS to the viscera and or muscles and glands are motor or what we call efferent neurons. E. You also have your interneurons. The third category of neurons is known as the interneurons or association neurons. Ano yung other term ng interneurons? Association neurons. They connect the motor and sensory neurons in neural pathways. We have your structural classification. When you talk about the structural classification of the neurons, this classification is based on the number of processes extending from the cell body. We have your multipolar neurons. If there are several processes, the neuron is multipolar 
neuron because all motor and association neurons are multipolar. This is the most common structural type. We also have your bipolar neurons. Bipolar hindi isakit sa ulo ha, pero ito ay bipolar neurons based sa kanyang structure. Neurons with the two processes, an axon and a dendrite, are called bipolar neurons. These are rare in adults, found only in some special sense organs where they act in sensory processing as receptor cells. We have your, kung merong bipolar, may multipolar, ano yung next? Uni. Polar. Very good. You got this right. Unipolar neurons have a single process emerging from the cell's body. However, it is very short and divides almost immediately into proximal, proximal, central, right? And distal, other term, peripheral processes. Once again, these are the types of your neurons based on their function and classification, a function and structure. Malino ba yon? Malino. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something today. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga pa yung next upload natin. Bukas. Regarding the nursing education, I don't know if I'm going to have a part three already or that's going to be next week. But definitely, we're going to have an upload for tomorrow. Tulungan nyo na nga ako ay palamalita nyo na sa radyong sila ang pinakabago, pinakafresh, at ang pinakalibre ng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe, except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gabe Official. And uh, I'll see you again. Oh, by the way, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page. It's Neil Gabe and my Spotify, my podcast account, which is 3 a.m. Conversation with Neil Gabe. Good luck. I love you. Thank you so much. I hope you learned something today. Have a great one.